first what we will try to look at is like how to send mail uh, mails from like any visualization or uh, from dashboard directly so just to get started let's create a random visualization at uh, customer name and pull up this sales and profit as well so anyway with this data source we don't have any mail ids but just to uh, for name check just will create a mail id so that we can use it. Let me pull it in details. Okay. So how we will try to achieve this is like as all of us might be aware about the dashboard actions. So one of the action which you will use to achieve this is uh, go to your action. So this is a, a dashboard action which is least used at least in my cases of people working on projects and that. So once you uh, open this action here, you can just type mail to uh, insert the mail ID. So the reason why I pulled the mail ID in details is this. We don't want to use the mail IDs and also if we don't have this mail ID in the visualization, we won't be able to uh, use it just to test link. So once you tab this, it will like from which your mail ID you are sending your outlook uh, will be used as default and it will just proceed to the mail id which you have selected so okay so what if, if you would like to send multiple ids so, so once you click on this one like one id you can send but for in case if you would like to send to multiple ids you can't just uh, just it shows like eight items selected but you can't so to do that you have to just uh, do a bit modifications so actions edit and uh, here you will have an option just saying allow multiple values once you have to check this box just rename the right uh, so it will be more long so, so currently i have selected long people and once we Click send mail. We'll have all the long mail IDs here, and we can just go forward and add the subject and whatever you'd like to have in the body. But uh, there, uh, in some cases, if you'd like to add subject also, and it's like sending monthly update of sales and profit. In that case, uh, the subject and uh, the body quite remains like same. Same, this and same template. They have to just type copy paste and replace only the sales and. Uh, profit value so to do our type that we can just uh, have some more code in the url that will be enabling us uh, to directly send uh, the sales and uh, directly send the subject and body as well so let's see actions let me edit so currently i have given mail to mail id then this um, the talk. Uh, subject is equal to so once you test this link uh, we will be able to see the subject sales and profit and uh, i think this percentage only is like more of space and these are like some basic syntax so we are uh, done with the subject what if, if you would like to send i like i want to send the sales and subject everything uh, in subject only i don't want anything but it directly you can insert the, some sales field some sales we want to just this link here you'll have the sales detail so just to add in case if you would like to uh, have more customized in body as well just uh, you can add some more code over here so that in that case you'll be able to send the customized body as well
So this is the dashboard. Uh, so, so we are already looking at this one. And just to add the URL action, we have just looked into the sending mails and subject. We will go forward and see how to uh, send uh, or add text to body. So, so here if you look at like uh, details uh, then we have similarly however we have added the music we have used amazon and body equal to sales and uh, percentage 20 this for space and profit also okay we are supposed to insert this new tag got the sales and the profit for the particular uh, uh, since we haven't selected any of the customers just to try to test URL it's showing the total sales in the sample store so now we are getting sales uh, 6706 so which is for the particular customer um, in case like if you are uh, uh, sometimes it feels um, we have to send some greetings as well. So in that case, what you can do is we can go for a calculated field saying hi, good morning on the text field, whatever you can, you, you are interested in just, you can type saying the sales is as follows for the particular month like that. We'll look at like how to make that as well. So now we have customized subject where we have all uh, the details. So instead of inserting the sales or profit and typing more on URL, we can directly use the calculated field where we have all the details. So now we got like, uh, since we haven't selected any of the customer again, we are getting the total sales of profit. Okay, so for the particular customer, we have got the sales and profit, but it doesn't look good in this format to have one on the single line. So what we can do is, we will modify the calculated field, so we we'll get a, each one in the next line. So to, uh, so to do that. So what it does is this uh, takes us to a new line. So now we got everything on single single line, but we are getting double course. 
Just uh, send a more customized mail. So if you are sending a good afternoon or something, then you can have parameters saying morning, afternoon, evening, and you can just guide the field to a calculated field and you can put the calculated field in the detail itself. So this is how we can send the customized uh, mails from our worksheet or the same actions which we have done for a particular worksheet, it's applicable for the dashboard as well. We can follow the same uh, steps there uh, to just achieve this uh, thing. So this is the first part I had for today.